Hey everyone, welcome into One Cent Sports Cards YouTube channel. Today I am doing another PSA reveal and this time we got all sorts of different cards. We got football, we got vintage, we got new, we got autos, we got basketball, baseball, you name it, it is in here. And all of these cards, except for a few of them that are mine, were submitted by Patreons. The reason Patreons have me submit cards on their behalf is simply because I will do the actual submission at no additional charge beyond the submission fee. So what does that mean for a Patreon? Well, if it costs 18 bucks to grade a card or 30 bucks to grade a card, if they have me submit it, it's only going to cost them $30. I don't charge any extra. So if that's something you're interested in, there is a link in the video description below to my Patreon page. I would love to have you sign up and see some of the benefits. You can get all sorts of things. That's how you get into my breaks. You can get break credits. PSA submissions, monthly packs, Discord community access, so much more. You can join for as little as $2 a month, and we would be happy to have you join the group. But without further ado, let's get in to this PSA submission. So I sorted it out by the people this time because sometimes it gets a little confusing. So this time we will start with Victor Victor H, a Patreon. The first card he has is an Elijah Moore. I believe this is a 2021 Panini Prism. It is a blue shimmer parallel rookie card. It is numbered two out of 25. We'll see if we can get that on screen. So let's see what we get on the Elijah Moore. We get a gem mint 10. So a beautiful Elijah Moore 10. Love it. That's the first one for Victor. His second one is actually a soccer card. Now, I don't know much about soccer other than the World Cup is coming up and the United States men team probably won't win it. Hopefully they do, though. Highly doubtful. Anyways, this one is an Erling Haaland. And it is from 2021 Merlin. And it is a purple refractor. The purple refractor number five out of 15. So let's see what we get on this one for Victor. Victor, good luck. We get the purple refractor. It is a mint nine. So Victor comes away with a mint nine and a mint 10. Now the next couple cards are gonna be mine. This first one is an interesting one. It is an Orlando Palmero Bowman 1993. Now. People might say, why would you grade that card? Well, it's part of a set registry that I'm building of the 2002 Angels World Series championship team having all of their rookie cards. It's actually pretty tough. This is a very tough card to find graded. It's even harder to get it in a 10. This was the best one that I can find. So we'll see what this one gets. It comes in at a near mint eight. So not sure why this got an eight. I thought it might get a nine. It is from 1993. Probably has something to do with surface more than anything. But I will take the eight as I did not have that card. That gets me to about 75% PSA on the set. Now this next one is also mine. It's a big one. I pulled this card recently. It is from 2022 Panini Immaculate. It is a prospect patch auto on card of Julio Rodriguez, gold number 20 to 25. It is a very thick card, very hard to get in a 10. I do not believe this would get a 10. There's a little scuff right here on the edge and some of this gold edging. So we'll see what this one comes in at. It comes in at a near mint eight, which to be fair, I, it was going to be an eight or a nine. I think this edging over here really, uh, really kind of screws the grade to an eight, but I will take the eight in a Julio Rodriguez auto. Hold on to that one for a while. And then I was lucky enough to pull one of these O'Neill Cruz. This is a beautiful card right here. This is from Topps Pristine 2022. This is a gold on card autograph refractor. It is numbered 32 out of 50. So we'll see what this one gets. Came right out of an encasement in right to PSA, pristine auto gold refractor. Going to get a mint nine, which I'll be honest, I've never touched this card. 
No one's ever touched it since it left Top's hands. So it gets a nine. Not quite sure why, but I will take a nine. This next batch of cards is going to be from Patreon Nick D. Now, Nick submitted some vintage. How about a Wade Boggs Don Russ 93? For Nick, Nick is going to come away with the Wade Boggs rookie coming in at a near mint seven. So we get a seven on the Don Russ 83, little bit left heavy, maybe also a little bit bottom heavy. Would have to check the corners a little bit closely, but from a card from 1983, what does that make that card? About 40, uh, 39 years old, something like that. Kind of crazy. Then we have a sweet Dennis Eckersley. This is a 1976 Dennis Eckersley while he's on the Indians. Very cool card right here. So the Dennis Eckersley from 1976 tops comes in at a six. Excellent to mint six so this card also going to be a little bit bottom heavy pretty well centered left to right but we do have some cornering issues so a six not a bad grade maybe a little bit off centered on the back too but a very sweet dennis eckersley for nick nick congrats on that one then we also have a cal ripken jr rookie this one from don russ 1982 again a little off centered a little left heavy right here and probably a little bottom heavy so we'll see what the cal ripken comes in it the cal ripkin gonna be a six as well so we get the ex mint to six for the cal ripkin jr a little off centered on the back so pc cards for nick nick congrats on those then we have john w who waited very patiently for these cards and he's got some bangers in here he's got 86 fleer this one right here gonna be a Don Ru uh, Don Russ, a 1992 Derek Jeter. I was looking at the Don Russ and getting the D's mixed up from Jeter and Don Russ. This is obviously the Jeter rookie card from 1993 tops. Let's see what the Jeter rookie gets. Going to come in at a near mint eight. So we get an eight on the Derek Jeter. Pretty clean Derek Jeter. Obviously, this card has been graded a ton, so they're going to grade it tough. Maybe a little bit top heavy here, maybe even a little on the back, but that shouldn't count too much. Would have to look at the edges underneath the loop to see why that gets the eight, but not a bad grade, especially if that's for a, for a PC. Then we have a sweet one. The tops, 1986 Jerry Rice. Beautiful tops 86 and the Jerry Rice gonna come in at a near mint seven. Little bit bottom heavy, centered very nicely. This card presents pretty well. We've got some a little bit of soft corners on the edges that you can kind of see. So I think a seven's a fair grade on this one, but it presents very well for the Jerry Rice. So congrats on that one. By the way, these are for Patreon John W. I don't know if I mentioned that, but the, all of these are gonna be for John W. So like I said, there's also some 86 Fleer basketball. And I think he's got four, I think the rest of these will be 86 Fleer basketball. So this first one gonna be the sticker, the Magic Johnson 1986 Fleer sticker. Awesome card right here. I grew up watching Magic. Magic gonna come in at an EX MT six. So this card is off centered, left heavy, but it does come in as at a six. Got some cornering issues. So a six, probably a fair grade. The sticker is pretty tough to grade. So the magic comes in at a six. But then we have Sir Charles next. So Sir Charles, this is going to be also from 86 Fleer. The Charles Barkley going to come in. At a near mint eight. Awesome, Barkley. Coming in at the eight. Love that one for John. Beautiful, beautiful Barkley right there. Love it. Congrats on that one, John. Then we got just 
who was a human freak of nature, tiny spud web could jump higher than, you know, jump over tall buildings in a single bound. Dude could jump, was only like five, six, was amazing in the slam dunk ch championship or slam dunk contests in the 80s. So we get spud web here, just a fan favorite over the course of decades. Spud web, 86 Fleer, coming in at a near mint seven. So a little bit of a soft edge especially one down here in the corner. Got three, seven's probably a fair grade, but again, maybe a little bit off-centered and some uh, staining on the edges on the back. So a seven, probably about what this card was gonna get no matter what, but still a very nice centered, presents very well for 86 Fleer, so love that one. And our final card, gonna be one of the greatest basketball players of all time. It's gonna be Kareem Abdul-Jabbar. And the Kareem, Coming in at a mint nine. That is a huge grade for the Kareem. That Kareem is straight fire. Love it. So we get a mint nine for John in the 86 Fleer. Love that. And I love that. It's Kareem on top of it. Just, again, one of the best basketball players. Magic, Kareem, all of them in the 80s. If you grew up back then, you have no idea what Showtime at the form and the frenzy that that created. It will always be remembered, especially in the Southern California area. It's just one of the greatest sports times to be alive and living in the Los Angeles area. So that's the Kareem. So if you haven't done so already, throw over to first, hit that like button for a few of the vintage cards and whatnot that we displayed in this one. Again, don't forget, if you want to have me submit cards on your behalf, I will do that via Patreon. You got to be a Patreon member. Check out the link in the video description below so you can get all of the info on that. Comment below. Let me know what you think about these grades. Were they fair? Or should they have been higher? Should we have graded different cards? People love to tell us what cards we should grade. Always love to get those comments. So comment below. Throw over to first, hit that like button, subscribe, hit the bell notification. You guys know what to do. And as always, as you're out there in the wild, I hope that you guys are finding the packs that you want to rip. And when you rip them, I hope you are getting fire. And until our next video, be good to your family, be good to your friends, be good to your neighbors. And most importantly, take care of yourselves. Thanks for watching. We'll do it again soon.